Hi everyone, my name is Ruth from the OC Public Libraries. In this video, I will show you the technique to make a simple beaded bracelet. You'll need a loom of some kind. This one's handmade, my husband made it for me, but you can buy one uh, pretty inexpensively at your local hobby shop. You'll need thread. You want to get beading thread, not normal sewing thread. It's a lot stronger, it's nylon. You want a piece of beeswax, if you can find it at the stores. Uh, I'm going to use Delica beads because I like the way the finish is. It's nice and flat and even. You can use seed beads, but it's gonna be a whole different finish. Not worse, just different. You'll need a pair of scissors, a set of pliers, I put tape on them so that it doesn't scratch the surface. A butter knife. Clamp ends. These are ribbon clamp ends, but they work really well for bead work. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is to thread our warp threads. So you take your entire thread, the whole spool, do a slip knot on one end. That's a slip knot. Put it over the post on the end, pull it tight. So all we're going to do is go from post to post, one space apart. All right, that's one space. Down around the post, keep going. That's our last one. There should be 13 across, which gives you 12 spaces for meat, for your beads. And we're gonna tie off our thread on this post. Just pull it out and chop off the end and tie it off. You wanna keep these nice and taut. You don't wanna lose. Not around the post twice and it's gonna be good okay and that's it your warp thread is done okay now that we have our warp set up we're gonna cut a weft thread so cut a piece off your spool about two feet long and using your beeswax if you have it just run it through the beeswax like this the beeswax will make the thread stronger and it will make it so it doesn't tangle as easily. We're going to tie one end of that to the leftmost warp thread, leave a tail, and it's just a single knot. You don't need to go crazy. That's all you need. Take the other end and put it on your needle. I like the big eye needle because they're super easy to thread. You just open the wide part there, and that's it. And it goes back to that. So what we're gonna do is you take the needle, run it underneath the warp from this side, pick up 12 pieces, 12 beads. Okay, so I've got 12, run them all the way down your thread and underneath the warp. Drop the needle for now. So we're using the finger of your other hand. You're going to push these up through one in each space. Hold them up, push them through. Take your needle and go back through the beads. Try not to hit the warp threads. You want to be on top of them, especially this end one. All right. Pull it all the way through. And that's your first row. You just do the same thing, keep going. Needle under, pick up 12, back through until your piece is as long as you want it. Now what happens if I get short of thread and I can't reach this anymore? What's gonna happen is I'm gonna go back through the second row on my loom and the third row that's just weaving the end back in and cut it really close to the edge. 
Then I'm going to take a new piece of string, piece of thread, however long I need it. Two feet is about right. You don't want to have too much to work with. We're not going to tie it on the edge this time because I don't want knots hanging off the side. So I'm going to go from the left through the second row down. And this is exactly the same way you're going to end off when you get finished the length you want. Pull it through, but don't go all the way through yet. Leave a little tail. Go back through your first row. Like so. And this is when you gently pull that tail in. Okay, so now you got your new thread and you just keep going. 12 more until you get as long as you want your bracelet to be. All right, we have our bracelet as long as we want it. What we're gonna do is the same thing you did when you added a thread. Go through the row below and the one below that. And then you're just gonna cut that off as close as you can on that side. That's just weaving them in. And that's the end. The beadwork is as long as we want it to be. And so what we're gonna do is cut it off of the loom at this point. As close as you can to the posts, just snip the threads. It's a little scary. Just snip them on the other end too. All right, set them on the side. And this is what we've got. To finish off the ends, you're going to knot each two across. Then repeat on the other side. Put the clamp on the end of your butter knife with your pliers, you're going to squeeze both ends tight. Slide it off, and you should have a space just big enough to slide onto your beads. Okay, so we've cut all the extra threads close to the knots. Now to make sure that they're going to stay, you're going to put some glue right along that edge. You take the ribbon clamp that you just squeezed shut, so there's a little space down here, and that should slide right over either the second or the third row. I'm going to go for the second. Yes. So you slide that right on the last two rows, and as you can see, it's now secure. Let the glue dry. All right, and you have both ends finished. Some of the ribbon clamps will, you can buy come with closures already on them, which is great because then you don't have to deal with it. If they don't have it, you'll have to buy them separately and add them yourself. It's super simple to do. You just open this up and hook it onto the end. Then you want another hoop on this end and it's all done. A simple way to add patterns to your bracelet, you can uh, just get two, three different colors that go together and do stripes. So it's just 12, 12, 12, but different stripes, different colors. Or if you want to get really complicated, you use graph paper and graph out your design first. This is the design for this bracelet. This is my design for that one. And this one, I was trying to do a star. So there's lots you can do with it. You just graph it out. If you would like to learn more about beadwork or jewelry making, visit our website at ocpl.org. OC Libraries can supply you with many books, periodicals, and ebooks on the subject. Thank you for watching.